All right, I got my new sticker, independent. It goes in the center of my back glass. And my new YouTube channel, stickers, are now available at itsgoodtobethekeen.com. The website, this one right here, go ahead and write that down. This website, you can go to it and you can order stickers. You can buy their stickers that they already have. You can custom order shirts, custom order clothing. I mean, just about anything and everything. Let them know what you want to do and they'll do it. So come on, go over there. It's good to be the king.com. We'll hook you up. All right, today we're going to fix the air conditioner pump on a 94 Toyota pickup truck. That's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I'm actually going to be swapping it out. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that, how to find one for cheap and be able to get it installed yourself. All right, I wanted to talk about one thing about this AC uh, compressor swap or fix or whatever. Um, with the way the economy is and the way everybody is going right now, you're trying to do everything for as cheap as you can. So I found a solution for all of you that have an, a, an 86 to 95, 94-ish uh, Toyota pickup truck. The uh, AC compressor runs about $275, maybe $200 if you can find it. Uh, used ones are about $150. Okay, so this is what I did is I searched for the part number on, you can search on Amazon.com, eBay, this and that, and when you search for it, you'll find that, that Toyota pickup trucks and Kia Sportage. Kia Sportage from 96, 1996 to about 2005 used the same AC compressor, but it's a little bit different. There's a head on top of the AC compressor, and where that is is where the hoses come into the top of the AC compressor. It's at an it's at a different angle. But Are you I'm gonna show you in there? Yes, I'm talking in there. Now you're in there. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright. So when you go to pick and pull or somewhere like that, you can get one out of a Kia Sportage. It's so much easier to find a Kia Sportage at a pick and pull than it is to find a Toyota pickup truck if you know I mean if you own one then you already know so go get you one and bring it back now I'll show you how to change everything out in this video watch the whole video first and then go ahead and go do this and I picked my AC compressor up for 60 I think it was 67 dollars with change and I have AC now so watch the video and I'll uh, get you guys hooked up all right on the side of the AC pump right here, there's four bolts. Take those four bolts out, and uh, I took my uh, my uh, air cleaner out. And then, uh, right, here they are side by side. This is the new one. This is the old one. Okay, they're very similar except for one thing. See the head on the old one, or whatever that is, and then this one on the new one. Can you see the difference? I can. So, what we need to do is transfer the top of that one to the top of this one. Alright, after you take them off, I already swapped them, but I wanted you guys to see. See, that's the same pattern. I put the gasket on that one. The gasket's going to come up on the other one. But when you pull, pull the other one off, it's the exact same pattern. All it is is a different head on it. So, careful not to get any dirt. Clean out your holes before you put it back on there and then bolt it back down. Put you some Loctite on it and then uh, this AC pump will now work for the Toyota pickup truck because that's the head for the for the uh, Kia Sportage. See my audience? Hi everybody! Say hi! Hi! hi. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what? what you doing? Alright! You gonna go watch? Oh, okay, you gonna watch? You gonna watch the gummy bear? Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right. And then I just went ahead and cut the uh, plug off of that and put it on this one, which that takes the other plug off of this one. And now it's set up. So now we just got to keep our fingers crossed. All right. Now that you've got your AC pump installed, you're gonna need one of these, which they sell these at the parts store. Okay. You need one of these, and you'll need a can of something like this. Okay. Then all you do 
is this has to be turned all the way out. That way it's not puncturing into the top of this just yet. So you make sure that that's all the way out. Because see there's a little needle in the middle right there. So spin that all the way out. Now that the needle, see how it's not sticking out anymore, is not sticking out, then you can go ahead and screw it onto this. After it's screwed onto that, see, nice and tight and everything, then you can go ahead and screw this all the way back down. That way it goes ahead and punctures it and seals it all at the same time. Now that it's screwed all the way down, now you're ready. Okay, you take the other end and the other end goes to the low side. Now there's a high side and a low side, which right there. The low side is going to be a smaller plug, which the smaller plug will allow this to slide onto it. It works just like a quick connect fitting or an airline fitting. And all you do is you take this, you pull this back, push it on, and release. That way it locks it into place. Now, depending on what the temperature is outside, you've got a range selector right here, okay? Now, you've got, if you look right there in the center, you'll see temperatures. Let's see if I can focus. Okay, temperatures. That's what the outside temperature should be. So, if you're like 100 degrees, then you're going to be wanting to get your pressure right in this area here above the 85. It's better to try and do it when it's this temperature outside, but we all know it's been really hot. Now, you're going to want to, you, if you want to, you can adjust that. You can turn the outside dial to where the range that you need to be in. With the motor running, turn your AC on, put everything on high, the fan on high, with that plugged in. Okay? Then, you're going to turn this dial out. When you turn this dial out, the whole thing, to release the Freon that's inside there, you're going to notice the needle is going to jump a little bit. Okay, once the needle jumps and it's like all over the place like that, then screw it back down to close it off. If you close, don't close it off all the way. You want to leave it so it can just barely trickle out so that you can regulate that needle. When that needle's in one spot and it's not moving very much, then you're doing good. Okay, now you can release a little bit more, put a little bit less, a little bit more, but you don't want to go out of the green. I don't know if you guys can see the colors there. Okay, because see you've got blue, red, and blue, green, and red. You want to get it almost to the top of that green without going over. You want to be right in that area. Okay, and not over. Once you get it to there, if it starts to go up a little bit higher, then just turn this off. And then see where the pressure stays. If it goes, if it drops back down with it running, then go ahead and open it up and release a little bit more free on until you can get that as high as you can. The higher you can get that and, and be in the range for the temperature for the day, that's going to mean how much colder your air is going to blow when, when it is blowing. If you swapped it out like I did, I would recommend getting a, uh, if, uh, hang on, let me see. Yeah, I'm hot. It's really hot today. Uh, if if uh, you changed out the uh, AC compressor like I did. What you want to do is you want to get an all-in-one. An all-in-one has oil, it's got seal uh, uh, fixer up or whatever and, and it's got the Freon and it's, I mean, it's, it's an all-in-one can that will help to condition your whole thing. Okay, so that's it. Uh, go out and make some cold AC. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe at the top if you haven't subscribed. Please comment at the bottom if you haven't one more thing I want you guys to understand, uh, some of you guys are new to here, um, I'm not a certified mechanic, I'm not certified in anything, I'm just a guy that works underneath a tree at his house that wants to get stuff done and get stuff fixed. When I fix something, I share it with you guys, because it worked for me, and then that way you guys can go out and do it. Please don't hold me responsible for anything. If you guys have doubts about anything that you're going to do or anything that you are wanting to do, then have a, a certified mechanic do it or have somebody that knows what they're doing to go out and do this stuff. I do this stuff at my own risk. So if you follow me, then you're doing it at your own risk too. And I just want to make that clear because, you know, I know some of you are going to be like, he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know the words. And, no, I don't. I don't know the words. 
I'm just doing this so I can save money because I don't have a whole lot of, a whole lot of money to be able to spend on everything. So, I just, sorry I had to say that. See you guys next time.